Hey everyone, it's Brandon from Virtual DJ here with a tip of the day. Now each deck in Virtual DJ has a number of standard controls and options to manipulate playback of your tracks. However, there are also a few additional smart options to help you with beat synchronization and making sure that your mix stays nice and tight. Smart options can be toggled on or off in deck options. Click on this button in the deck to show the deck options menu. There are three smart actions available to use, Smart Play, Smart Cue, and Smart Loop. Only Smart Loop is enabled by default. Let's disable the Smart Loop and then create one using the in and out buttons. As you can see, it doesn't sound very good. However, when we enable the Smart Loop, Virtual DJ will snap your loop in and out points to the nearest beat to make the loop seamless. Much better. This is why we have the Smart Loop enabled by default, but the option is always there for you to turn off if you need an offbeat loop. The next smart action is the Smart Cue. By default, it is not enabled, so every time you click on a hot cue, Virtual DJ will jump to that position instantly, no matter what beat you are on. When Smart Cue is enabled, Virtual DJ will automatically adjust the jump position to keep the song on beat. This means that each time you press a hot cue, the deck will wait until the hot cue position matches the beat phase, so that you get a seamless jump. The third smart action is the Smart Play. Now the Smart Play is best used on the upcoming track that you are wanting to mix in. Let's load a track into the other deck and enable Smart Play. Notice that this track has a significant BPM difference, but it's not a problem with Smart Play, because the track in the deck will now automatically start playing from the nearest position that would allow the two songs to be beat matched with each other. In other words, as soon as you press play, the track will be synchronized in tempo and phase with the other deck. It's like pressing play and sync at the same time. As you can see, using the smart actions can help keep your tracks and loops beat matched and to have a little more fun with the basic deck controls. That'll do it for this tip of the day. We hope you found it helpful. Till the next one, remember, up fader for volume, cross fader for cutting. Practice using them both. Don't rely on one exclusively.